Discipline and productivity is a common thread that we all share. No matter who you are, no matter what stage of your life you are currently in, whether you're a student, business owner, whatever you're doing in life, right now, discipline and productivity are huge elements of your life. Before I started my business, I had a very, very hard time being disciplined and being productive. When I started Munara Studios a couple of years after, I started implementing something in my life that forever has changed my productivity and has me laser focused and disciplined when it comes to any aspect of my life. Business, fitness, personal health, personal development, mental health, everything that you can possibly imagine when it comes to your growth. I have implemented this one mind hack, this one technique, this one tip, this one trick that is going to, I believe, help you tremendously. And I encourage you to start implementing this into your life as well. And I'm gonna jump right into it. This technique is super simple and I promise you if you start implementing this, it will drastically help your life. And here it is, okay? Imagine when you have to do anything in your day-to-day -day life, whether you are a student and you have to study for an exam, okay? What is one thing that you always tell your friends and your family members? when it comes to studying for that exam. You say, I have to study for this test. I have to study for this test so I can ace it, so I can pass it, so I can do whatever in life. I have to study for this test. You say that, correct? If you are an entrepreneur, a business owner, and you have a huge deadline coming up for a project, what do you tell your friends and your family members? You say, I have to get this project done. I can't do anything else. I can't go out and enjoy myself. I have to get this project done done. Let's say it's the new year and you're trying to get into shape. You're trying to get into the best shape of your life. You're wanting to go to the gym. You want to eat healthy. What do you tell your family members and your friends? You say, I have to go to the gym. I have to start taking care of myself. I have to start eating healthy so I can start taking care of myself. Anytime you have a task or anytime you have an obligation or anytime you have a commitment to do something, you always begin that sentence or that phrase or that mindset with, I have to do this one thing. Now, the technique that I'm sharing with you, the mindset, the hack that I started implementing into my life once I started Minerva Studios, I wanna share this with you because I think it's gonna really help you. From now on, moving forward, starting today, immediately as you're watching this video, as you finish this video, as you listen to this podcast episode, I want you to start doing something. Instead of starting anything that requires commitment or productivity or focus or getting anything done in life, instead of beginning that thought, that phrase, that sentence with I have to, I want you to start saying I get to. Okay, let me repeat that one more time. Instead of saying anything, starting anything with I have to, change it to I get to. Why is this important? I'm gonna start putting this into practice as you listen and really take notice of the big transformation in these phrases and how they kind of like even come out of your mouth as, as, as they come out of my mouth, listen closely and, and really take note of how they sound and really listen into how they, this could really impact you, okay? So let's, for example, use the studying uh, aspect. I have to study for this test. Instead of saying that, say, I get to study for this test. Why do you get to study for this test? Now really, really look at, look at the bigger picture here. Why do you get to study for the test instead of have to study for the test? You in your life right now are in a position, in a place. You may be in college, you may be in school, you may have a test or exam coming up that is going to determine the future of where you want to be in life, right? So you are in a place in your life where someone else wishes that they were. Someone else in this world, someone else that you pass day to day, someone on the bus, someone at the restaurant that you go to, someone at the coffee shop where you go and study for your test, someone that you are constantly interacting with, they simply wish that they were where you are. You get to study for a test that is going to determine your future. The fact that you even get to study for a test is a, is a problem that others wish they had. There's other people in your life that may be blind. There's other people that may be handicapped. There's other people that may not have the opportunities that you have to be able to do the things that you 
get to do. Not have to do, get to do, okay? I get to study for this test. Because I get to study for this test, I am in a position in my life where I get to determine my future, the future of my family, the legacy that I am about to build for the generations of lineage that is about to develop because I get to take this test. I get to study for this exam because my family, my parents worked their tails off so I could have the opportunities that I have right now to even enroll in college, to even enroll in this program where I get to study for this exam. There's people out there suffering, struggling, crying themselves to sleep who are in a place where they wish they were where I am, where I get to study for this test. Okay, let's use another example. If you're an entrepreneur or a business owner, this is where it really changed my life. Okay, when I started Minerva Studios, I had a very tough time being disciplined and pro productive. I'm gonna be completely honest and transparent as I always am. I had a very hard time with the amazing projects that I was getting. I worked my tail off to get to a point where I could own a business, run a business, and have the clientele that I was getting to have, right? And it got to a point where I was uh, working on a project and I had a deadline that was a couple weeks out. And I remember waking up one morning and I was thinking to myself, oh, I, I, have to, I have to get this project done. I have to get this project done for this client, otherwise I'm not gonna get paid. I have to get this project done for this client so they're happy and so I can fulfill my end of the deal here, right? And then I realized later that morning as I was editing, uh, something, something clicked in my mind, something loomed over me, this, this feeling of gratitude rather, this feeling of you know, being central, focused, this feeling of how fortunate and lucky am I. As I was sitting there editing, in this office space where I'm sitting right now, this is our studio space, this is where I get to work, this is where I get to edit, this is where I get to produce some amazing work. And on the computer that's right behind me, on the monitor that's right behind me, I was editing in this actual room. And I and this, this feeling of gratitude just kicked in and I, I thought to myself, man, there's so many people out there right now who are working in nine to five in offices where they're hating their job, offices where they have to go into work and feel so um, miserable. Okay, again, it's, it's mindset, you know, to them, if they start thinking I get to go instead of I have to, but, you know, I'm kind of putting it in perspective from my end, okay, I'm putting it in perspective for where I am in my life and looking outwards, like, because I don't want to work a nine to five, I don't want to work in a cubicle, I don't want to work in office, I don't more want to have a quote unquote job. And the reason I don't want to have those things is because for me, I know I can make a bigger impact and a bigger splash and a bigger influence in the lives of other people by running my own business. And that's not an egotistical thing to say, that is just a mission and a goal that I am on in my life to be able to have a bigger impact in this community and communities around the world. And to do that, in order to do that, I, I am so honored to have my own business. And so when I was editing, that, that thought kicked in my head. Instead of thinking, I have to finish this project, I started thinking, I get to edit this video. I get to work on this project. I get to produce something phenomenal, extraordinary, something emotional, something profound, something incredible for this client. I get to edit this video. As a matter of fact, years ago, I was struggling and suffering in a job that was really killing me, right? It was killing me inside and out. It was giving me anxiety. It's the fact that I had developed anxiety disorder. I was having panic attacks. And that's when I had made that decision years prior that I want to start my own business and start doing something a little bit more bigger than, than I can possibly imagine. So I reminded myself where I was years prior and where I wanted to be. And here I am, you know, here I am. I get to do these things. So I shifted that. I shifted that mindset. Instead of saying, I have to finish this project, I started saying, I get to edit this video, I get to finish this project, and I get to deliver this video and this project to this client who is amazing, who has trusted in me, who has placed their faith in my creativity and art, and I get to edit this video and deliver it to them so they get to enjoy it, so they get to present it to their clients, so they get to present it at this gala, wherever the final product is headed towards. So that, that was, that's what happened for me. Now, you, again, you can apply this to literally anything in your life that requires commitment, that requires focus, that requires a positive mindset, that requires a habit or a routine of doing something. 
uh, fitness, for example. A lot of people, when New Year's rolls around and they want to change uh, their mindset and they want to start going to the gym and start eating healthier, they will still say, I have to go to the gym. I have to go to the gym and start exercising because I have to start changing my mindset and my lifestyle, my habits, so I can start uh, feeling better and looking better and eating better. I have to go to the gym. I have to start eating healthy. Instead of saying, I have to go to the gym, say, I get to go to the gym. I get to start eating healthy. I get to eat healthy. Because again, there's people who are, you know, disabled, for example, people that have lost their limbs, you know, in war, perhaps. People that were born, probably, who couldn't even walk. People that are in comas. People that have been in accidents. People that are struggling and fighting disease and illness who are unable to even walk, who are unable to even lift weights, who are unable to even do a push-up because of things that are holding them back. There's people out there that wish they had your problems. So you don't have to go work out. You get to work out. You are healthy. You are healthy body. You are able-bodied. You are able to go do these things so you get to work out. You get to eat healthy. There's people out there that don't even have access to clean water or clean nutrition or foods that provide their body the things that they actually need, that they're craving, their mind, their body, their soul. You get to eat healthy. You get to go to the grocery store and get healthy foods, organic foods if you desire, healthy meats, the things that you are craving. You get to eat those things. You get to eat better. One of my favorite entrepreneurs, Garen Jones, has this mantra that he shares over and over and over again. And it goes, change your mindset, change your life. Change your mindset, change your life, change the way you perceive obligation and commitment and work and productivity and focus and diligence and habits and routines. Change the way you look at those things from I have to do this to I get to do this. I get to study for this test. I get to work on this project. I get to edit this video. I get to go work out. I get to eat healthy. I get to live this life. I get to do all these things. And another thing you can even apply this to, and again, going back to the business side of things, um, as a business owner, I have to pay taxes, okay? Taxes are a huge thing that business owners deal and struggle with, and that's one of the reasons people don't wanna go into business is all the taxes that uh, go hand in hand with running a business, operating a business. And at first, I had the mindset of, I have to pay these taxes, I have to pay these quarterly taxes, I have to pay these monthly taxes, but now, Every time I have a tax bill come up, I, t I say to myself and I say out loud to the universe, again, law of attraction, the universe is always listening. What you are seeking is seeking you. I say, I get to pay these taxes. I'm so fortunate and blessed that I have my own business alongside my wife. I'm so blessed and fortunate that I have this beautiful studio space out of my home where I get to work, where I get to edit, where I get to run my business and operate my business and I get to pay these taxes because I'm so blessed and so fortunate that I get to live the life that I worked so hard to get to. Okay, start changing your mind and you will change your life you don't have to do these things. You get to do these things. Thank you so much for watching. And as you apply this to your life, please comment below. Tell me below or send me a message on Instagram. I want to know how you're applying this mental shift, this mind hack to be more determined and more dedicated and more driven and more focused and productive and more disciplined in your life. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing for future videos and listen to the podcast. Until then, I will see you very soon and I get to see you very, very soon, my those, my amazing friend. Have a beautiful day and we'll see you soon. Thank you.